Um, I'm new to Colorado, and I won't be the, the last signing they make, I don't think. Uh, it seems like there's going to be a pretty big rebuild in Colorado. Um, and Colorado has ambitions to be the best team in the league. That's that's plain and simple. You know, the last two years for them haven't been haven't been good enough. Three years ago, they were top of the West, and that's where they they want to get to. That's where I want to get to. And I'm coming back from Europe to to challenge for the cup. That's it. I think Colorado is for me is is a really good opportunity, good challenge. It's fresh. It's new. It's a, it's a beautiful city. And in terms of you know these big names coming in. It, it makes us want to play better. You know, we get into these games versus these these players that have played at the top level. It makes us want to prove prove to the world because we know the world is watching these guys that uh, that there's good players in MLS besides these big names. I'm gonna go to Kyle in the middle. Yeah, Kyle Boniger with ESPN. George, can you kind of walk us through the decision making to return to MLS as opposed to seeking out another opportunity in Europe? And was it just this Colorado opportunity stood out, or was there something about the wanting to be back in the league? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, earlier last year, there was a thing that happened with my family, and that happened in April. And since since then, I've been wanting to come back and be closer to home. Uh, I could probably discuss details later, but yeah, that's that's the truth. And I know I wasn't the football wasn't going as planned too, so it was kind of you know my football wasn't great, my personal life wasn't great, and I think the the best thing for me in my career, in my life was to return back to MLS. I wasn't thinking about another stop in Europe somewhere. I know MLS is is a really big league now. All the eyes are on MLS. And you know, this, I wanted to come back and into a good moment of MLS, and Colorado has given me that opportunity to to challenge myself and to bring the level of the team up. I'm gonna go to the right here, and then to Jonathan. George, um, Colorado is a city that has seen a lot of success in sports, specifically in the NBA recently with the Nuggets. You're talking about the rebuild that Colorado is gonna go through. How do you, as a new player that's joining the team, start to foster that culture of winning that Colorado is now on a high? And, and how do you keep that going on the soccer side? Yeah, I mean, we when I look at the roster, we have uh, a lot of experience in the locker room. And, you know, I've, I have one trophy to my name in my six, seven years of playing, and I don't think that's that's good enough. And I, since I was little, I played to, to be the best I can be, uh, to, to win trophies. And I know the, that's the mentality that I'm bringing, that's the mentality that Zach's bringing. I think that's the mentality the majority of the locker room has already. Um, and certainly the front office. Uh, you know, the, the Nuggets, they, they won their first title, right? Yeah. That, was, that was in their history, and that was last year. So, so Colorado, yes, they're on a, a pretty good high in terms of winning. And, and I know the owners, they, wanna, they have ambitions to, to keep that going with, with the Rapids. So we're going to go to the left with Jonathan. Jonathan Tannenwald of the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, you mentioned Zach Steffen a second ago also coming to Colorado, and both of you guys have an opportunity here if you can get regular playing time, be on the ball a lot, to maybe move back up the U.S. depth chart a little bit. And I wonder if that's something the two of you have discussed with yourselves and with Greg. I haven't talked to Zach about that at all. Um, and, yeah, the national team is, is never a certain thing. The, I'm with my club 99% of the year, and – before I can think about the national team, I have to make sure my club situation is good. You know, you're never going to be with the national team if you're not playing with your club. So, in my opinion, I think if I do have ambitions, and I certainly do to play in the next World Cup, the best opportunity, best way I'll get on the roster is by playing. And I think I have a better opportunity to, if I'm playing in MLS, playing well, to, to get an opportunity with the national team versus being on the bench and, and as that. George, um, here. Room. You played before with a uh, Venezuelan player, Miguel Navarro, at Chicago Fire. Um, how was your relationship with him, and um, how important is it for you to have an uh, old mate in a new team? Yeah, I'm familiar with a lot of guys, and yeah, Miguel from Chicago. I think when he came, he didn't know too much English, so we couldn't really bond that well. Uh, so, But now, uh, after a few years, he's picked up a bit of English, and I was training a bit with him in the offseason, too, in Chicago. So we're going to have a, a good connection just because we're familiar with each other, and and also, you know, there's there's guys on the team from the national team that I'm familiar with, and uh, definitely looking forward to that re regrouping with Miguel. 
We did receive uh, one question via Zoom from Matthew Pollard of Burgundy Wave, uh, which was, have you had the chance to speak yet to, to Chris Armas? And, and if so, what are your impressions of him as you both have this new opportunity? Yeah, I spoke with him on the phone, and I spoke with him in person. And the, my first instinct is that he he's a very good people person. And I think that's that's what I had in Montreal with Will. He's very good at connecting with the players on a human level. And to me, that's very important when a, a coach can see the person instead of just a player. Um, we haven't spoke about tactics or anything like that, but, but when you have a, a manager that, that can connect with you on a human level, it makes you want to fight every day for him. Fantastic. Thank you for your time.